Hey guys, my review for you today is the Kaleidoscope, Airblown Projection, Inflatable, Jack Skellington, and Zero on Mountain. There are so many name variants, I don't even know at the point that I'm recording this what the title of the video is going to be, but I ordered this off of Yard Inflatables for $125. That was when they first got it in, and now it's like $160, so I'm very glad that I purchased it when I did. And before I unbox it, I want to give you a look at the box art because it's just absolutely incredible. That's the new 2020 um, NBC design because it's got a new jack. You can see the exact title there. Nine feet tall. Turning swirling light. And then um, the inflatable, obviously. It looks so good. I love this box. Like, it's probably one of the best box arts in inflatable history. Like, really. it's just It looks so good. That back turquoise, you know inflatable picture looks good too and then it says 2020 Jimmy but this is a 2019 design really all right so now let's go ahead and open it up There we go. Here are the stakes. You can see it has two metal stakes, four plastic stakes, and then it's going to have four tethers to go with it, and then four metal stakes that I'm going to throw out. Instructions. Go ahead and attempt to take it out of the box. Got to spread it out a little bit. There's Jack. I'll put the bag away in a second. So here's the base fan. It's got a YEF-125, I believe. Alright, so let me test inflate this, just make sure everything's okay, and I'll be right back. Everything works pretty much perfect, except for one thing, which I'll get to in a second, but before we go ahead and inflate it, I would like to confirm, though, that it does have a YEF-125, if you were curious about what type of base fan it had. And also, since we're down here, I figured I would show you what the kaleidoscope looks like from the inside. It does look really cool, so, alright, let's go ahead and inflate it now. So he inflates very fast, or I should say it, because it is the mountain. The problem that I was speaking of earlier, or the thing that I said like wasn't great about when it inflates, is that the jack at the top, which you'll see, gets kind of like crunched up, you know? I think it might have to do something with the light string, so I do have to fix him a little bit, which is unfortunate. I don't think he'll do this every time. I think, like, the more I do this, the less it'll be a problem. But right now, you know, it's not a great thing to have. So he should be good now. Let's see. Yep. Alright, so he looks he looks amazing. I feel like this version of the Jack on Mountain is, like, ten times better than the one at Lowe's right now. The one at Lowe's is just... It doesn't do it for me. If you want to pause the video, you can look at the comparison right now that I'm showing on the screen. But I love this one way more. Here's another angle of Jack. Looks really good. And then Zero with pumpkins. Zero's animation is on point. Like, almost Dragon Globe quality. The way it just moves back and forth, it's it looks so efficient. It looks so nice. It's just a great design. And then the jack-o'-lanterns at the bottom look very good as well. I'm so glad that Zero is in this inflatable. I can't imagine him not being in it, to be honest. There's Jack in the sky. I'll go ahead and move back a little bit so you can see what he would look like from the road. Pretty much any angle of this inflatable, whichever one you choose, you can't go wrong. It's kind of 
one of my reasons why I think this is the best NBC inflatable ever. I also wanted to give an up close look at, you know, like the curly thing with the mountain that you can see right now. I wanted to point out that the stitching on it, you might think, okay, well, it's the inflatable is kind of doing a lot of movement in terms of, you know, its shape, so how's the stitching? And I just wanted to let you know that the stitching is perfect. There are no loose seams anywhere on this inflatable, which is another reason why I just love it. It has four tether loops in total, two at the bottom, and then two at the top. This inflatable has two zippers. One of them is in the back of the pumpkin that Zero is sitting on. The other zipper is right next to the base fan. The kaleidoscope is also right next to the base fan if you wanted to know where its location was. And then here's an up-close look at Zero's animation. I couldn't help myself to be perfectly honest, I just I wanted to look at this again. I could watch this all day, really. I wanted you guys to see what Jack looks like, you know, from directly on him, and I couldn't achieve that, you know, since it's nine feet tall, standing on the ground, so I brought my ladder out. I actually filmed the last clip on my ladder as well. I really like how Jack turned out. He just looks so good. The mountain looks amazing. Zero, the pumpkins all go together perfectly. This inflatable, I really cannot complain at all about it. Like, I, I cannot find really anything to complain about, only maybe I guess when Jack inflates he doesn't inflate perfectly because of, I guess, inside he gets tied up a little bit, but honestly dude, he is amazing. I think I've talked about this inflatable enough since it's still daytime outside, so with that being said, let's go ahead and switch to what it looks like at night. Here it is, the kaleidoscope inside of it lights it up or illuminates it really so well. It looks perfect. It looks absolutely incredible. Like, I know I keep saying that phrase a lot, but this one really does. It really does. I love it so much. This inflatable has three C7s in addition to the projector. Two of them are in the pumpkins at the bottom. You can see one here. And then the third is inside Jack at the top of the inflatable. The one inside Jack illuminates it okay, but it probably needs a second one to be honest. Here's another ladder view. You can never have really too many of those in my book. I love getting these unique angles and shots of my inflatables, especially with this one. You can see what I'm talking about and how I said like the light and jack doesn't illuminate quite well. I feel like maybe if Jimmy added two in jack and then one more in that small pumpkin at the bottom you can see here, I feel like then the inflatable would be, you know, really... 100 out of 100 or 10 out of 10 however you want to do your scale but it's still amazing I mean that's really not a complaint I have one thing that I do wish maybe they could have done is made it so that zero actually lit up white rather than just reflecting off of the projector inside because you can tell zero looks purple he doesn't look white like Jack like in the movie so that is something Jimmy could have worked on with this inflatable but all in all like you can't beat it Well, I hope you enjoyed my review on one of the best NBC designs out there, in my opinion. If you did, please leave a like. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out. Bye.